Hi friends, welcome back. Um, today I'm doing the collaboration between myself, Nikki Parr, and Anne Williamson. And um, today's theme for Color My Life, that's what we're doing together, is pink and beige. So um, a long time ago I decided I was going to do a, a pig, but um, didn't know, like didn't... Uh, really think about much of it. All I knew is pink and beige would be perfect colors for a piggy. So that's what I did. So today I'm just putting my paper on. I did collage some papers beforehand here and um, you might have missed. I'm not sure. Some of that pink in the background is um, painted papers I got from somebody. Just little pieces here and there. And I also am using vellum, pink vellum. And that is a piece of ribbon or something that I just glued on there. So the, the theme is pink and beige, but we're allowed to use black and white as well in our colors for every month. So this month is pink and beige. Last month I think it was red and orange or yellow or something like that. And the one before that was blue and yellow. So every month we have two color choices that um, we all decide on and that's what we do. So this is a sparkly foam that I have here that I glued on and I always start, I started doing my pockets and my at the end of the year I'm going to fill my pockets with something that I just don't know yet. But I decided anyways with the foam I decided to take that off because it just was n not the right texture I was going for. And adding the vellum was really interesting. You'll see some pictures at the end. It's really when you add vellum with glue it's very bumpy and the texture is pretty much what someone would think horrible to to work with for collage. But in my case I really wanted that look so that's why I used it today and I thought it would be really cool to show you guys how to play with it and how it looks in a piece. So here is that washi tape I worked on a while ago. If you guys recall I needed pink and beige washi tape. This is why. That's my secret. This is why I needed it for this particular piece. I wanted to put some washi tape on. And here I'm just going over with my finger pushing everything down. I'm adding a little bit of pink. I have to make my beige, mix up some colors. But um, pink, I just added that straight from the bottle. I'm using Deco Art. Um, I don't know the color because it's flamingo. Let's see. I don't know. I think it's flamingo. I'm not 100% sure. It's too much paint in my bottle. <laughs> so when I mix the um, beige, I'm using like a chocolate brown. I'm using a white and a touch of yellow to mix my beige to make it look realistically beige. And that's how I make it. So just to let you guys know if you ever need like a skin tone and the brown's just not doing it and when you put the white in there it's just lightening up that brown. It's not looking just right. I just touch a little yellow in there and that's how I make the um, beige. So here I'm using a um, watercolor pencil crayon or wax crayon-y thing there and see it, that's from Target. It is just black and I'm using my outline for my pig and uh, yeah it's from Target when they had it in Canada for a short time. <laughs> that was quite a long time ago. That's how long these things lasted me and um, I'm just doing that outlining my pig and starting to plan them out. So here's a little bit of the brown, chocolate brown, my white and my touch of my yellow. Let's see, actually it was coffee bean brown. And I'm mixing it to make it uh, a beige. More realistic looking, adding a touch more of the chocolate coffee bean or whatever. And there it is, that's my beige. And um, yeah. So what I'm doing is basically blocking out the colors, trying to make them look piggyish and <laughs> cute. And I change the shape a little bit here and there when I think that something doesn't look right. I just use like the outline, the outskirts, you know, painted in. It's it's a, a kind of a whimsical painting. It's not supposed to be really realistic. It's supposed to be fun. I really enjoyed this because of all the textures. It really made it really interesting. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures at the end because the textures are amazing and they're just really neat to work on. I hope you guys give it a try with some crazy textures and uh, paint over and stuff like that because it is really, really cool.
So please be sure to check out everyone's links below and um, Williamson's and Nikki Parr's and check out um, Annalise's Mixed Media Everything Facebook group, her crafting group, as well as Nikki Parr's and myself, International Crafters. We'll have the links below on all of our channels here. So we're all three of us are doing a collaboration every month for this. And this is our January, our March, I'm sorry, um, collaboration, Pink and Beige. So give us a check out and check them out because there's going to be amazing as well. So continuing here, you see that I'm adding the pink and um, around the edges I decided to go with white because I had too much pink and then I just threw in the um, soluble um, wax crayon stuff there just to make it grayish because I could use black and white in any way I want if I want to use it in my beige, if I want to use it in my pink, if I want to use it in with each other, it's all that's the challenge is to kind of play with the colors it's a color challenge so here I'm just trying to make my little piggy oh and it's the year of the piggy too the year of the pig for the Chinese year thing whatever that is <laughs> um, it's supposed to be the year of the pig so I thought that was really cute too and I like pigs they're cute like them don't like to eat them but I like them because they're so cute they're very cute anyway and so now I'm just kind of going over back and forth with the beige I've made and pink and I continue until I'm very happy because I also want to put more pink in there to make it pop. It's not like I said really realistic but it was fun to you to play with and I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a really fun fun one for me. I'm really super excited to go check out the other ladies because I um, I don't know what they're doing, so it's going to be really neat to see what they have done with their color challenge. Of course, I'm adding a teeny bit of black here and there, darkening it up just on the eyes, a little few spots here and there. Now I'm just brightening up a few spots of pink. I'm just playing at this point and thinking, do I want to do more? Of course, I add a little bit more low lights, highlights, and that kind of thing, just to have fun with it. And I think at this point, I decided I want to change the shape of his nose just a touch, but hey, I play with it, and then I like it at the end. I really did enjoy doing this particular one. It was fun. All these highlights and low lights. I'm just doing some highlights in his eyes and um, all that kind of thing, making him come to life and enjoying it. So my little piggy will jump off the page. 
I imagine him or her with little piggy wings in the background there, just a little whimsical pig. Um, I just have that in my mind. It's just a cute little flying pig. <laughs> I'll have to make another one. Now I'm tempted to put um, goggles on them. <laughs> Cute. Anyway, so this was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll probably let you guys just watch as I go along. Um, adding and taking away and blending and playing with it. And just shaping the outer edge with the white and stuff like that. And I hope you guys check out the pictures at the end as well. Because just looking at really close up with the textures. You just don't get that watching a video. But I tried to take some nice pictures of uh, the texture and you guys are going to be like amazed on how much you can play with texture with uh, all sorts of different types of papers and um, ribbon and sari and all that kind of stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to crap like a duck and I'll see you all soon. And check out Nikki's and um, Anne's because I have their links below. Bye friends for now.